and good evening everybody all right good evening everybody hope you guys are enjoying your thursday so far thank you for being here with me for another show and yeah really excited for today uh, because you know i i'm really looking forward to just playing music you know i haven't touched my instrument really the whole week because we are so busy working for uh on our shows uh, this weekend uh it's been a it's been a crazy yeah past two weeks you know crazy ideas on our part and then um you know working hard to make it make it happen so i'll share more with you guys uh for those who don't know what's going to be happening this weekend i'll share i'll share more as we go but yeah so let me let me take a look at the the chat so the good thing is i actually we managed to upgrade our system again so today i i managed to get um a cable from um uh, a carousel seller and we needed one more hdmi to USB C cable to connect my monitor screen um directly in front of me so now it's so much better i don't have to keep turning to the side which looks uh weird and now i can see the see your comments right in front of me which is which is really really great so uh, it helps a lot and the other amazing thing is when i pull up my backing tracks on kara fun with the lyrics i'm going to be sharing that with you um, on my screen on the bottom left corner and i get to see the lyrics in front of me as well you know i've spoken about this a lot to to uh, musician friends or even my saxophone students that the lyrics are more important than anything to me you know and of course it's impossible for me to memorize every single lyric so uh, using the Karafan app which we highly recommend if you just like to sing karaoke or you're a musician looking for backing music to practice it's like thousands of songs and yeah, so with the backing track, I can look at the lyrics as well, and you know that really helps me to to emote uh, the the song and play it much better for you guys. And I don't have to take a sneak peek uh, at the site. You know, I have it all right in front of me, so it's really amazing. And yeah, I just wanted to say hi to to you guys. Hi Wyatt, nice to see you all the way from the US. <coughs> and KJ. Yes, hope you are having fun practicing your your instrument. Uh, KJ just bought a saxophone uh, from my shop and we just started lessons. Sounding really good for your second lesson. You know, it's going to be a fun journey. But thank you for, for joining. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. Chris also just got reached from my shop. Um, hope you are enjoying it and thank you for always being here. Um, Hi, Six Ocean Avenue Studios. Uh, studios. Do let me know what your name is. Thank you so much for saying you're a fan of our music. And yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And Tiawei, nice to see you again. Tiawei, I think this is episode 14, which is quite crazy. And um, uh, thank you so much for being here all the time. And oh, uh, you asked for grace and tender. I have... Uh, an uh, inkling who you might be, but maybe you, you let us know better. Uh, but yes, for sure, I can play Grace and Tender. And uh, Chris, whether I can play Somewhere Over... Smooth version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Wow. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I have a backing track for a smooth version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, but I can definitely do that song. Let me see... Oh Hans, yes Hans, nice. Yeah, I had an inkling it was it was you. So, but I didn't want to jump to conclusion. So, better be sure. Hey Martin, oh my goodness, Martin Low from uh Black Magic. Uh, he's really really amazing. So, Martin, sorry I could only quickly reply your email, but you know, uh, Martin has been so kind. You know, he was saying that he saw our our feed you know and usually we have a second camera over here our cam 2 we are using a zoom q8 which is not great but it is what we have around us and martin was saying yeah he saw the feed had a lot of lag and yeah i have no idea why even though it's going through the a10 mini pro within the camera itself it's not in sync you know so that's really weird but he said he wanted to you know uh let us try the the black magic pocket cinema camera the 4k and the 6k and he's willing to lend us some lenses that goes well with it for our shows this weekend 
it's really so amazing. We've been dying to try. I just found out a fellow saxophonist in the US called Jeff Ryan. He's been using the pocket cinema. I've always loved his look and I told my wife, you know, I don't know how he got such a look. And then I found out recently he was also using a, a, the pocket cinema camera. So I'm so excited. And I would say, you know, thanks to Martin, thanks to the guys at Blackmagic, we're going to be able to, to loan these mics and try them out. And I think, you know, my show tomorrow is at 11 a.m. So I really don't think we can get it there in time. But for Miss Lu's show at 8 p.m. tomorrow, I think we'll be using both of the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, which is just going to be amazing. We're really so thankful, you know, that, you know, people have come on to our journey. You know, we've just been doing what we do and we've been getting to meet and interact with amazing people, amazing brands that have supported us to make this live stream better and better. And, you know, to have this upgraded equipment for our Saturday 12-hour music festival as well as Sunday's huge saxophone um, uh, guest is just going to be so amazing. So thank you so much, Martin, and for coming to our shows as well. And it's just incredible. So we will definitely meet you tomorrow. Um, we'll find a way safely to be able to use, you know, delivery or something to, to get it from you. So uh, thank you so much. And hi, Yin. Nice to see you again. And yes, Yin, we took your feedback and make it work. You know, you guys have been, you know, just great supporters from us, encouraging us. And really, it's it's just, you know, it's really for you guys, you know, more than anything. So, um, Mr. Heng, nice to see you again. And Vincent, thank you so much. And oh, Chris, you meant smooth as in my own style. Sure, yeah, I'll definitely play it in my own style. And Jia Wei, you're saying uh, genuinely amazing to see your progression from JVS to now. Thank you so much. If you guys don't know what JVS means, it's actually Jurongville Secondary School, which I was a PE teacher for four years. I think some of you may not know that, but I was an MOE teacher for four years teaching PE. And Jia Wei was actually in my form class for all four years, if I'm not wrong. And great student, one of my one of my allies that I could count on in class, you know. So, you know, and it's been how many years, you know? I think it's been probably three, four years since I left JVS. So we've known each other for seven or eight years and still keeping in touch. And he's still a huge supporter of the music. Um, I think I'm really so appreciative of that. And Sean, hi Sean Blackmore, nice to see you. Um, he runs a a, a smooth jazz show, um, online radio, and that's amazing. Hope you hope you are doing well. Nice to see you on my show. And yes, Shane is saying his A six hundred is now fired. Yes, unfortunately, once we get our hands on the pocket cinema camera, we will be gladly returning Shane the Sony A six three hundred that he has lent us. But you know, we're so thankful that you know, uh, Shane has stepped up to you know he bought it with his own money and he was kind enough to lend us to try as well. It was already a great step up. I think the pocket cinema camera from Blackmagic is going to be amazing. They have the 4K and the 6K version. We've been dying to have our hands on it. Um, everything Blackmagic, you know, really works um, like magic, you know. So really thankful. But yeah, really thanks to you guys. And oh, you know, since we're on that, sorry, I'm talking so much at the start. You know, since we're on that, um, Audio-Technica, um, Edwin and the, and the team were so kind to let me try this um, new headphones. Uh, it's the ATH70X uh, open back headphones. And man, the sound is so good. It makes it sound like I'm listening to music um, on a super nice hi-fi system. You know, so I was using the, the M50 before that, which is nice, but it started to get a bit heavy uh, for me. And you know, we're doing two and a half hour shows now and it, it, it weighs on us a bit. So this is really light and the sound is just amazing. You know, you feel so much more space and color. I'm really loving it. So um, when Miss Lou and I both go on our shows, we're going to be fighting over this. But I think I'll let her have this and then I'll still use the N50, but we're definitely going to get some for ourselves. And so Audio Technica has been an amazing supporter. Really, you know, we just feel so overwhelmed with these blessings, you know, not just financially, which we are so thankful for, but also just in kind, in loaning us stuff to try it out. You know, we, we you know, we really don't want to be spending like thousands and thousands of dollars right now when, you know, we don't really have income coming in in that sense, you know, active income. And, you know, that would um, be quite painful for us right now. But 
thanks to your support and you know for for these amazing brands it's been it's been great and to my dad also shout out to my dad my dad sent me a, a sum of money to say hey you know this is for that pair of earphones that you want to buy and it's crazy the amount he sent me it was really it's going to be just enough for one pair for me to buy it after I, i've tried it for a few shows so um, really really so thankful and yeah, it's really thanks to you guys that we can make our show better and better. And then, you know, one thing led to another and we're going to be doing a 12-hour festival with so many um, guest artists and, and, and people close to us that we, we love and we want to share with you guys. So it's been so amazing. Uh, we just never thought this would, it would, you know, lead to, to what's going to happen this weekend. And subsequently, you know, I have so much exciting news that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um. I've just been so overwhelmed with, you know, uh, in a good way, you know, with so many good things happening and without even me, you know, thinking about it or expecting it, you know, how things, you know, I was busy working on another project, but now I think everything is derailed and, you know, I'm going to have so much good news to share with you guys soon. So to be honest, I'm really happy to be here back on the show. I don't have to think about marketing, publicity, um, posters, uh, technical stuff, sorting out cameras, gears, social media. You know, it's been crazy. I just want to play my instrument, which is what I'm supposed to be doing from day one, you know, but it's never that easy, you know, to be just a musician and not care about every other aspect of music. So, yeah, I'm just going to be playing songs that I like, that you guys like. Um, It's just, yeah, this is my... This is my time to relax, you know. And actually, later at 11 p.m., I'm going to be going on a, on a Facebook Live uh, with, with my friend, Tin Fu, who used to be in Audio Technica. And he's the one who pulled me into Audio Technica and introduced me to his the microphones and all the gear from day one. You know, now he's left his with Deity microphones, but we're going to do something on his own personal page called Pratas. I don't know how he pronounced it. But yeah, we're going to be talking about the show this Saturday and just chit-chatting about gear and everything. So I'm looking forward. It's going to be a long day, long night and long yeah, this this next few days will be will be long, but it's gonna be so hap so fun and rewarding, and yeah, most importantly, hopefully you guys will enjoy whatever we we have planned for you as well. So, hi Nicole, nice to see you, Nicole, all the way from KL, and now let me see, should I let me start off with some songs and not um talk too much. Okay, what should I play? Let me see. Okay, I need to close the chat for a while. Oh yeah, Shane. Sorry, I didn't tell you. It just happens like really quickly. So yeah, I'll be I'll be going on Sinfu's show. So let me see what song I can do. Oh yeah, just now I was trying this tune and I've never tried it live before, but I hope you guys will like it. It's a tune called Someone You Loved uh, by Louis Capaldi. And you know, I've had a lot of requests to, to play this song, but I never got down to it. So I'm going to do that for you guys right now. Sorry, let me try it again. I forgot to turn on my mic. Thank you. 
All right, that was um, by Louis Capaldi called Someone You Love. Hope you guys enjoyed that version. And yeah, really nice to be <laughs> playing my instrument back again. Feels actually quite quite foreign after all this time. Uh, but yeah, man, it's definitely nice to be back here playing music. Um, <coughs> yeah, as Miss Lou is saying, things are moving at breakneck speed. It really is. And hi, Lucien. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Hilda. Nice to see you again. And hope you guys are looking forward to our show um, this Saturday and Sunday. Hi, Wendy. Nice to see you. Thank you for saying it sounds awesome. Let me know if you guys have any song requests and I'll be glad to do them for you. And I know I owe Hans a song from uh, playing my soprano. I'll think about what I can, what I would like to do on soprano. But uh, Chris, you asked for Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I really love it. It's one of my, uh, it's really a, one of my favorite songs, you know, a classic, classic tune. So meaningful, so powerful. And yeah, and it helps also that um, one of my favorite um, saxophonists called Dave Koss. Uh, he also loves this song. So I'm, I'm really happy to play it. Let me find that version that I like. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh. I'm going to play this version by Ariana Grande. I've played it before on the show, but that's one of my favorite uh, versions. Let me look for it. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, I see more friends coming into the chat. Let me pull this out. Hey, nice to see you. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Is it Kao Feng? Uh, let me know if I got it correct, okay? Nice to see you. I think you are from Vietnam. Thank you for joining me. Let me know if you have any song requests. And Leonard, nice to see you. And you received the new reads. Thank you so much. Um, you asked for Uptown Funk. Uh, I've never tried it on the saxophone, but maybe I can do another Bruno Mars song uh, later for you guys. Uh, I think, ah, okay. I'll do this tune that I've always wanted to do uh, called uh, When I Was Your Man. Maybe uh, I know you wanted something funky. Later, I can do some other funky songs for you guys. But let me do this tune called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Uh, there won't be any lyrics, but um, hope you guys will enjoy this one.
Right, there was a tune called Somewhere Over the Rainbow uh, going out to Chris. Thank you so much for that song request, you know. I really love that song and I, I find this version really nice, you know. If anyone wants the backing track, I'm happy to send it to you. I found it online somewhere. But yeah, it's although it's just piano and, and you know, in the backing track, but so colourful in, in, in the voicings and uh yeah, I really had fun playing it. Thank you so much. Glad you guys liked that one. Uh Tiawei asking for Heal the Wall. Hey Stanley, nice to see you. Uh Stanley, um we were in the same church long time ago. And yeah, nice to see you here at our show. Uh and hope you will be coming for our show, uh the 12 hour live stream uh festival. Uh, on Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Sunday, we're going to have an amazing guest called Eric Marienthal, two-time Grammy Award winning, eight Grammy nominations. Uh, f- he's in the legendary band, the Chick Corea Electric Band. Uh, just plays amazing and great guy as well. And I'm so stoked that he agreed to come on the show. And we're going to talk and we're going to play music and we're going to share his new music. And uh, I'm really so excited, you know. And... Tiawei, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, hi, Edric. Nice to see you. Hi, Pauline. Nice to see you. Stanley, no problem. Try your best. You know, if you guys have to step out or whatever, can just leave the stream going on. So, you know, uh, the good thing about, you know, the more people that comes into the stream, uh, YouTube actually kicks the algorithm up. And, you know, it's just, you know, everything leads to everything, you know. So if you guys share it with your friends, you know, the more people watching, liking, commenting, you know, the algorithm gets kicked up and it gets shared to more people. You know, that's the amazing power. That's how, you know, videos go viral in that sense. So every every minute you guys watch, every comment, every like, um, subscribing, you know, all goes a long way. So I saw Tiawe requesting a tune, uh, Heal the World. I've, I love that song. I've never actually got down to trying it on the saxophone once, but let me give it a try, okay? I know there are like three modulations, so, wow, okay, so let me try this, okay, let me see which instrument it sounds better. Alright, I think it actually can work on alto. So, yeah, I haven't played my alto in a while, but better brush up my alto before I play with Eric Marenthal alto on, on Sunday, which is just so crazy to think about. Yeah, we are planning which songs we can do as a duet for you guys. And 
Yeah, so he likes to play alto the most. So uh, that's his voice, main voice. I'm mainly on tenor, but if I'm playing with him on alto, I better <laughs> use tonight to brush up as well. So let me try this on on alto. Okay, sorry, might take a while to load. All right, so this Heal the World, if you guys like, please sing along. And I'm going to try this for the first time going out to Tiawei. And I think this song is so appropriate now. I'm going to be looking at every lyric as well and, and really trying to internalize it and feel the song. And yeah, hopefully it, it just, um, you know, collectively, you know, with all the good that we can put back out in the world, you know, everything, those people who are hurting, suffering from this, this crazy virus, you know, will will really get some peace and, and healing. So uh, this song goes out, yeah, to anyone who is feeling, you know, so affected by, by what's been happening and hope that you will stay strong and, and hang in there and, you know, things will definitely get better soon, hopefully, you know. So this is Heal the World.
That was a tune called Heal the World, going out to all of you. Um, yeah, I hope it turned out well. First time trying it on the saxophone. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. <coughs> all right. Let's see who I can say hi to. Oh yeah, my dad is here. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Jeremy is asking... Uh, do you do Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You? Yes, I do that. Uh, especially the Kobayashi version. The solo is really, 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 really long though. I usually not solo so long, but I can definitely do that for you, Jeremy. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, John, uh, Watermelon Man or Take The A Train? Um, I could. I, I see whether I feel like doing some uh, swing jazz stuff later as well. But yeah, I think Take The A Train might be quite nice. Uh, for sure, I can. Um, if Shane is helping me to compile, I'll be able to check back later. Jiawei, you say, you sure it's your first time playing? Yes, my first time trying it on a saxophone. So yeah, um, it's, it's fun. It works well on a saxophone. Just need to practice a few more times uh, to get it really good. Uh, Heal the World is a tough song. You performed it brilliantly. Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, it's not easy. Two key changes. Just got to get my fingers used to it. But, you know, really powerful song, really... Uh, meaningful as well by the late great Michael Jackson. Wendy, thank you so much. Um, hey, Yong Kang, nice to see you. Yes, <laughs> I remember your this your nickname. Uh, nice to see you, Yong Kang. Let me know if you have any song requests. Uh, Yong Kang plays saxophone as well. Uh, all right. So I said I owe some songs. Uh. let me pull up my computer. Uh, Shane must be very, very busy. We've been he, Shane has been helping us so much for this festival that we're organizing a twelve hour, um, twelve hour music live stream on YouTube. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, click on the notifications, and I'll send you guys the link now. So for this Saturday show, let's see whether you can see the link. Okay, let me try to find it. Ah, okay. So I'm going to share this link right now. Let's see if you guys see it pop up in the chat, okay? All right. Do you all see this link? Oh, there's a strikeout, actually. I don't know. Do you all see this? Can you all see a link that I just sent? Anyone? It works. Ah, yay. Awesome. Funny, there's a strike out uh, throughout the whole link where from what I see. Do you all see that also? Yeah, I'm not sure whether that meant that it wasn't sending through. But guys, please click on that link right now. And awesome. Please click on the link. Click reminder on. Subscribe if you haven't. It will remind you just before 10 a.m. on Saturday. To, to come and watch our show and really, you know, do join us for the whole 12 hours. We have the schedule out as well. But even if you can't join us for the whole 12 hours, just leave your phone running um, and just, you know, join us in spirit, you know, and then come back whenever you're free. So even if you're having meals, just leave it on, you know, doing whatever throughout your whole Saturday. But I hope you'll join us for every single segment. Every segment is so different and, you know... um. Maybe if I can share a bit more who is coming and joining us on the session. Uh, let me let me quickly pull it up in, bef in case I, I don't want to go by memory and miss out anyone. All right. So, yes. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can pull out the schedule. So. Okay, I can't 
Let's see. Ah, okay. All right. So 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. is quite crazy. You know, it really came out of this crazy idea for me to do a 24-hour live stream. Then I thought, okay, 24 is still crazy. 12 is better. But even 12 sounds crazy now. And I thought, I'll just play saxophone for 12 hours, you know. And and we thought after a while, you know, hey, how about we, we invite some of our some guests to come on the show? And then one thing led to another. Now we have a crazy lineup of people. So, yeah, just to talk you guys through uh, the lineup for this coming Saturday at 10 a.m., myself and Miss Lou will start things off. We will talk to, to you guys. We will play some music for an hour. And then at 11 a.m., we're going to have Adam Hawley. Adam is an amazing guitarist. He's the first choice guitarist for people like Dave Koss. He's played with Michael Linton, Kirk Willem, Jared Albright. You name it, Eric has played with them. He has played for uh, Manhattan Transfer. He has played for, um, wow, just off my head, Backstreet Boys. Um, just so many. Jennifer Lopez, um, he's played with uh, just incredible. You'll hear more about him. We'll talk about it and share his music and we'll play some music together. And almost every song of his goes to number one on the Smooth Jazz Billboard chart. So amazing guy. He's, he'll be coming in all the way from LA. So you don't want to be missing that. So it'll be our really, you know, our cross, our international collaboration, which we can't wait. And then 12 p.m. will be just me, you know, playing playing, you know, the songs that you guys like and that I like. And at 1 p.m., we're going to have Kevin Fu, who is a general manager of Sony Music Taiwan. You know, the ex under him. So he's running the whole of Sony Music Taiwan. The X under him include Eric Zhou, uh, Jam Tang, and so many more. And we're going to speak to him about music, about, and I, you know, and Miss Lu and I will both be in that in that chat and we're gonna we're gonna sing some songs. Uh, we're gonna play and sing some songs from the artists that are under him. So hopefully that's a nice uh, change for him. And yeah, we're gonna talk more about all these artists. And you can join us in the chat and ask all the questions you want. And that will be really fun. So I would love to know much more about Eric Zhou and his work ethic and how he writes and everything. So we're gonna be asking Kevin. And Kevin is Singaporean. You know, he just got the job I think late last year. And he's he's up there in Taiwan now. So great guy, great music producer as well, uh, engineer. So he has a wide range of knowledge. And then at 2 p.m., Miss Lou will be taking center stage with her songs. Um, that's going to always be good. And then at 3 p.m., we have a very special guest. We have Minister Grace Fu, who is the Minister for Culture, Community and Youth. She was so cool about it and instantly said yes. And, you know, she even asked us straight away, like, do you want me to sing as well? You know, so stay tuned. We're still finding out from her if she's serious about it. And But she's always so sporting. She came over to our house uh, last year. Uh, to spend some time with us and learn more. And we're going to be talking to her about, yeah, everything, you know, and about how um, she she's uh, working together with the with the youth and the community and, and things about culture and the arts. You know, you can ask your questions. We're going to be talking about the digitalization funds and, and how, you know, hopefully it can help more uh, freelancers and artists as well. So she's super... Um, great person, you know, you guys are going to enjoy uh, seeing her interview, uh, her show segment with us, and maybe she'll sing, you know, so let's see, let's see what happens. And then at 4 p.m., we're going to have our good friend Joanna Dong, uh, jazz vocalist, TV presenter, um, did amazingly well in the China uh, competition as well. We're going to have her on. We're going to do songs together. It's uh, going to be a surprise for you guys. So do check it out. You know, I think a lot of people has been asking for Joanna and, and Miss Lou to do something together. No better time at 4 p.m. on Saturday. That's going to happen live. And at 5 p.m., I have my good friend Cole, Mr. Saxman from Thailand, one of the nicest human beings ever and great friend, um, also fellow saxophone business owner. He's an amazing saxophonist, but just one of the kindest and biggest hearted people I ever know. Uh, just can't wait to have him on the show. We're going to play some music together and I'm going to introduce you guys to him. He's just so amazing. You hear him play the saxophone, you'll just, you'll just melt. Uh, he's just a great, great, great guy. So I can't wait for that. 5 p.m. all the way from Bangkok, Thailand. 
Uh, we have Cole, Mr. Sexman. At 6 p.m., Miss Lou and I will come back on. We're going to do more songs of ours. At 7 p.m., we have Aisha Aziz, who is an R&B songstress and actress as well. Uh, she's good friends with Miss Lou. And she's going to come on. She's going to share music from her upcoming project. And they're going to talk and share music. And that's going to be really, really awesome. At 8 p.m., we have Joshua Simon, who is an independent music artist and radio DJ. Uh, Josh, Josh and I go way back. And it's so great that he's he's been having uh, Miss Lou on, on some of his radio shows uh, before this. And Joshua is going to be releasing new music as well, which you are going to hear for the first time as well. So it's going to be... It's gonna be cool. It's it's really weird that you know, in the end now we are we are interviewing a, a radio DJ, which is quite quite amusing. And then at nine p.m. for the final hour, Miss Lou and I will be back, and we're gonna close the night off with more music. So, twelve hours, so many, and it's such a varied um group of people you know i think that's just you know when i when uh miss lou did up the poster and i looked at it and she spent a long time making it look so beautiful please let her know in the comments if you think the poster for this saturday's live stream 10 hour marathon looks amazing i think it looks amazing we have the schedule out as well please share it on all your social media platforms get your friends to click the reminder on click subscribe so that they'll be notified and watch with us the whole 12 hours I I really want to see how many of you can join us and leave your devices on for the full 12 hours. You know, that would be amazing. And it would just make us feel that, you know, like everything has been worth it. You know, we really want to make this like a varied and uh, entertaining festival and celebrate it, you know, remotely. You know, literally live stream YouTube festival. You know, we never thought we will be, we will be able to pull this off. But man, it's happening in two days. It's really fast. And let's see, it's going to be a crazy next few days but you know i think it's going to be so rewarding so yeah that's that's the rundown of what's going to happen and hope you guys will will be here with us and i'll share more about what's happening on sunday as well uh let me go back to the chat i think i saw kj asking for any queen songs yeah unfortunately i don't know many or any to have and i've tried on um, saxophone yet but I promise you I'll go and learn because my wife loves loves Queen as well I'm gonna learn some Queen tunes and be able to play it for you and for her as well and uh, Chen Chui, Chui Chen, uh, thank you so much thanks for, for um, being here with us and thanks for saying the link works perfectly fine thank you so much please share the link with it. as many people who love all the artists that we are going to bring on and love us hopefully and we're going to have so much fun 12 hours and Simpson Sotong a lot of preparation work to do for your intensive live show yes it's it's a lot of work. You know, I wish it was just playing saxophone or just singing for Miss Lou, but it's been a lot of work. We've been putting in really, you know, long, long, long days, you know, probably like, you know, 18 to 20 hour days sometimes. Uh, it's been quite crazy. Also, it doesn't help that our cats, my cats keep waking me up in the morning very early. So, yeah, but I'm just running on adrenaline and it's been it's been really great. Ah, uh, Miss Grace Fu will be performing. Yes, let's hope as she's so sporting. We actually have a video of her recording a song right here in our studio when she came to visit us. So we are asking her if she wants us. If she doesn't mind, we can share that video with you guys. You know, she's so sporting and ah, uh, just amazing person, amazing person. We're so glad that she's willing to come on to our show. It's gonna be amazing. And yes, grinding hard as usual. Yes. Please take care and rest. Next week, you know, we're actually having our anniversary uh, tomorrow. Uh, but it's okay. We will we will um, celebrate after. Uh, next week, for sure, we're going to take a rest. And yeah, Simpsons song, you're asking for The Dream by David Sanborn. I love that song. I tried it once. But if you guys don't mind, I might just try it again for uh try it for the first time live for you guys i love this song it's so powerful and david sanborn is one of the most powerful saxophonists out there uh i'll gladly do that song for you guys hey ben nice to see you jaw drop <laughs> uh, what what is your jaw dropping about so edwin nice to see you yes yin says yeah joanna dong yes joanna is such a amazing person as well and great unique style so i'm so happy to have her 
and Cole Saxman, yes, Cole Saxman uh, have been dying to have him on. And yeah, Shane, thank you for saying the, the poster looks good. Uh, yeah, Miss Lou is really amazing. 12 hours, yes. Yes, Mr. Heng says, waiting for your Saturday show. Definitely will be there. Thank you so much. What anniversary? Yes, okay. I'll let I'll let Miss Lou explain that. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So let me see. I have quite a few songs that I'm gonna do for you guys. Uh, let me pull up the, the request list. I know there's nothing's gonna change my love for you. There is the dream by David Sanborn. Okay, let me do Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. Hope you guys will enjoy it. And this is the Kobayashi Kaori version. Really, really nice version. And let's have fun with this one. If I can if I can find it or see it. Yeah, our monitor screen is probably still not big enough. It's in front of me, but I can't see it uh, that well. And I have like almost perfect eyesight already. So, all right, this is Kobayashi's uh, Nothing's Gonna Change My Love for You. Uh, going out to you guys and hope you enjoy.
right? That was a tune called Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You, Kobayashi, Kobayashi Kaori's version. Uh, amazing saxophonist from Japan. So please do check out the, the original version. It's really, really amazing. I don't think I can come close to doing that version justice. It gives me uh, goosebumps all the time. So I hope you guys will enjoy uh, that song. Uh, do check it out online on YouTube if you like it. Um, let's see what other requests or comments we have. Oh, Ben, yes, the lineup is really quite crazy. So please save it, share it with all your friends. Hey, Eliza, thank you so much. Nice to see you again. All right. Yes, Edwin is saying need 60-inch TV. Yes, ours is quite a small, small screen. So, yeah, I can't really. Oh, Shane is already <laughs> sourcing. That's amazing. Yes, we're really hoping that time what we're looking at. I can't remember what size, but yeah, we're even thinking of mounting it on our wall when we remodel this room after COVID to really make it a, a video, you know, studio and live, live performance. So Gregory, Joshua, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how big a screen we can fit in here. Projector might work too. Yeah, that, that works. Uh, KJ, Moments on Alto. I'm not sure of uh, any song called Moments. Maybe you can let me know who is it by or so. Jeremy, thank you so much. Glad you liked my version of it. Yes, I'm just... You know, just trying to play what, what comes to me. And thank you so much, Chris. Also, it says, well played with great feelings. Yeah, I love that song and just trying to channel that as much as possible. And... <laughs> uh, Yong Kang, thank you so much. Yes, you can come back for more later. Just leave the video running. Uh, you can come back anytime. Nice to see you, Stella. Hope you're doing well. And yes, yeah, Shane is saying we were looking at 55 inch. Yeah, maybe not even enough anymore. Yeah. And Prism Plus, yes, yeah, Singaporean brand. It's it's amazing. Great prices. Um, yeah. Let me see what other songs I can do for you guys. Let me look for the song request. Uh, list. Yeah, wow. Really? Is my eyesight bad or is the screen really too small? Wow. I can't find Shane. Maybe can you message me in our pr private chat? Uh, I can't find it anymore. The song request list. Um, oh yes, I remember a tune by David Sanborn called "The Dream." I don't think many of you have heard this song before, but it's a it's a really powerful song and I would like to share it with you but maybe yeah let me answer Chris's question uh side question just asking does the open back headphones leak in the condenser mic no actually it doesn't work that way um the sound yeah may maybe the sound yeah doesn't leak into the mic I don't think it's leaking into the mic but the good thing with the open back headphones is I get to hear some of the room sound as well um and I can hear my saxophone tone, a bit of the natural sound, which actually I love. Uh, so it works really better. And I think Miss Lu likes to hear a bit of her acoustic sound as well. So these are not like super uh, soundproof. So actually that's that's working great for us. Yeah. So yes, Cole, Mr. Saxman. Oh, wow. Nice. He, uh, Nicole, you're saying Cole, Cole Saxman, very nice and kind person, gave you two of his albums with autograph at the Publica Jazz Festival. Yes, he's an amazing guy. Man, I just can't wait for you guys to meet him. Uh, Eliza asking for Moon River. Yes, no problem. I can do Moon River later. Let me do this song called The Dream. It's my first time ever playing it live. I've only tried it once. It's a, uh, one of my favorite David Sanborn tunes and let me let me try to play this for you guys. It's called The Dream. Okay, you can check it out. I think it's a it's a cover of an older tune. Okay, David Sanborn backing tracks. The dream. Really don't know whether I'm tired or what, but really can't see my Yeah, where did my tune go? Let me look for it. Ah, okay. 
So hope you guys enjoy this tune by David Sanborn. I can't remember who requested for it, but I hope all of you enjoy this.
right, there was a tune called The Dream by David Sanborn. Oh man, I really don't like that backing track. It yeah, it really doesn't sound good and <laughs> can't can't feel any any feeling when I use that uh that when I play with that version. You know, let me let me send you guys the link. So now that I can send links, let me send you guys a link to the the great David Sanborn version. Uh, you know, you can you can click on it and save it later. I I want to make sure you guys hear the best possible version of it. And you definitely buy it, find a better backing track. Send you guys in the chat. All right, so that's the link. Uh, hope you guys will will like it. Uh, do check it out, save it, and yeah. So let me see. Uh, moments on all the. Oh, sorry, I already saw that. Um, uh, let me see. Where did I get left off? Uh, I think. Pauline, you're asking for Eric Zhou's song, I Ting Jia I I really can't read that. But maybe I can do another Eric Zhou song for you. And if you like Eric Zhou, please come uh, at, for our session. I think it's 1 p.m. with Kevin Fu, who is the general manager of Sony Music Taiwan. And he, he works very closely with Eric Zhou and can come and ask him all the questions. And I'll play some Eric Zhou songs or so. So that's going to be an amazing um, session on, mon uh, on Saturday. Um, Ah, uh, Stella, you're saying moment. I think it's the moment by Kenny G. Is that right? If it's that's right, I can play that song, and I and that will go out to Hans as well because I'll be playing it on my soprano. And Chris say, uh, when doing simple home recording, uh, audio is it audio tech headphones or so? But it's close over the years. Yes, that's that's the previous one I was using. So it's a close back one. Um, so yes, the new headphone is great. It sounds good. It's light on my ear, so I can go on hopefully for twelve hours. Uh, yes, Kenny G, the moment KJ, I'll do that for you and going out to Hans as well. Uh, Johannes, nice to see you. Thank you so much. Uh, HG, I think could be my my father-in-law. Thank you so much. Oh yes, uh, I totally forgot. I'm streaming on Facebook as well. So friends on Facebook. Please click the link above. Come to the YouTube chat. I really can't deal with two chats uh, right now. So um, please come over and click on the link and join us here. Uh, to all those who are watching on Facebook. And Loving You by Kenny G. Yes, I can do that as well. I guess you guys like uh, Kenny G tunes. So let me, let me jump over and do... Maybe I'll do The Moment first. I hope I still remember how to play it. So this is the soprano saxophone. Um, and yeah, made famous by Kenny G. I hope you guys will enjoy this one. Let me pull up the track. Let me find The Moment by Kenny G. Right, here we go. Hope you guys will enjoy this.
All right, and that was called The Moments by Kenny G. You know, actually going into the song, even before the, the song was played, the backing track came on, I really can't remember which Kenny G song this was. So I was just hoping that once the once the backing track came in, I would, I would suddenly remember uh, what tune it was. So when the backing track came on, I was like, oh, yeah, it's this song. So I tried it and I get the key of the song, then I was like, oh no, this is the Kenny G song that is so repetitive. You know, I love the melody, it's a great melody, but it's so repetitive and the whole song is almost the same chords and the, the melody lines for the verse and the chorus, the, the, the starting part of the melody is all the same. So I, I can memorize a lot of songs, but this is one song that I just always cannot remember which part comes first and everything. So hopefully I didn't butcher that too much and it's so repetitive. So in the end, I decided to just improvise and, and play around with it. So... Um, yeah, that's The Moment by Kenny G. You know, I still need to listen to it many, 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 many more times to to be able to remember the form of that song. But yes, that's The Moment by Kenny G. Um, Loving You, you know, I I would really need to listen to it uh, before I can remember which one is Loving You. You know, instrumental tunes are very hard to remember. But I think, yeah, if you guys like Kenny G... Uh, I'm actually playing the same similar soprano to what he has, uh, but this is a Japanese-made version. And yeah, I, I love Kenny G's playing, but um, I don't really like a very bright sound on soprano, which Kenny G has. Um, but So I, I, I love his playing and his style, but you know I like my, my, my tone a bit warmer, so I'm using a, a rubber mouthpiece. He uses a metal one and a very bright one. So yeah, I'm glad you guys are liking this. And Jeremy, thank you for your kind words. And Pauline, thank you so much. Stella, thank you so much. Hi, Daryl. Nice to see you. Yes, Ben is a Kenny G tune. And oh, Stella, nice. You're all the way from Jakarta. Hope everything is good in Indonesia. And hope you are chilling and relaxing. Oh, Gregory is telling you about the show. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And see you for all the shows. Tomorrow morning, I'll be doing a... Um, a smooth jazz show, my usual Friday morning smooth jazz show because it's Thursday night in the US and I just want to play smooth jazz for, for those who love it. And yeah, um, I think Hans, you asked me to play Grace and Tender. Thank you so much. But maybe I will leave it to um, tomorrow for my smooth jazz show. So Hans, 11 a.m., same place, same channel. I can do my originals for you and even showcase some tunes that I have not released yet. Um, Nicole, yes, know you by heart. Thank you so much. Yes, I played that in the previous live show. Can I play it once more? I could. Uh, let me see if I have other people requesting because I think I played it twice already in my live show. Uh, so I try not to repeat too many songs. But yes, Miss Lou loves it also. It's a great tune by Dave Cos. Um, yeah, I'll leave that to later. I see if there are any more requests and I'll try to do those first because I played that quite a few times already. Uh, Hans, thank you so much. Yes, I, I take pride in making the soprano sound as warm and full. Of course, it still must be sweet and it's still high pitch for sure. But trying to make it as, as rich as possible. And yeah, um, if you guys really like Kenny G, so I can definitely do more of that for you. Hi Silas, nice to see you. Um yeah, cool. Let me let me choose another Kenny G song. Let me just search and see what Kenny G songs I have here. Kenny G I have green sleeves, which his version which I've never tried before. Uh, oh, there's a tune that he covered called You Are Beautiful, I think by James Blunt. I've never tried it before, but maybe I could pull that out later. Dying Young is quite nice also. Uh, there's Yesterday, Moon Represents My Heart, Going Home, which I did the last time already. I have Loving You here. I think it's... Right, I think that's loving you, you know, but I don't know whether there are any like tricky parts in the in the song. But since you guys like loving you, I'm gonna try this um for the first time <laughs> in front of you guys. Hope I remember it as the song plays on, but let me try this it's called Loving You.
right, thank you so much. That was, uh, what is it called even? Oh, Loving You by Kenny G. Really, first time trying it and um, still don't remember all the parts yet, but thank you so much. And it's great, you know, that you guys are always requesting for so many different songs that I've never tried before. And, you know, I think I'm going to be a much better saxophonist after this whole live episode. You know, I don't think I'll ever stop, but, you know, just playing so much in front of you guys, playing all your requests is making me learn and learn songs on the spot, actually, you know, that I would have never normally done. Uh, so thank you so much. Hope you, you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you want more Kenny G songs. I'm feeling, feeling the Kenny G vibe now, you know, so maybe I can do more songs on the soprano. Um... Yes, let's see. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yes. Thank you so much. Let me know if you guys like Kenny G. You know, was that like the first saxophonist you guys have ever heard of? I think the younger generation really wouldn't know who Kenny G is now. Uh, so. Let me do another Kenny G song for you guys. Ah, uh, what do I have here? Let me try green sleeve. So I really don't know how this sounds like or what key is it, but I'll figure it out as I go. Hope you guys are. Songbird. Yes, the songbird is one that I is quite tricky. But I think that one I better not try. <laughs> I like songbird, but that one is I know is very tricky, so I better not make a big, big fool. I mean, I make a small fool of myself is okay, but big fool, if I really screw up that one, that's going to be terrible. Let me try green sleeves. Let's see how it sounds. That was a tune called Green Sleeves. Hope you guys enjoyed. Really traditional old tune, but uh, these are some Kenny G backing tracks. And you know, I've been thinking, should I try Songbird <laughs> for the first time on a YouTube live stream? Uh, I'm not sure. Oops. Not sure if you guys want to hear me <laughs> um, try that. Uh yes, so Yin is saying why does it sound like what child is this? Yes, green sleeves is actually what child is this. Yeah, same tune. Uh same song. Nicole Morning by Kenny G. I don't know that song at all. Um uh, never heard it before, so um sorry I can't do that for you. Pearline says you love Kenny G and your mom loves it too. Amazing. Ivan's asking for song bird. Hi Ivan, nice to see you. Ivan from Malaysia. 
Um, wow, Songbird. Wow, you guys are really testing me. Okay, let me try this just for you guys. Okay, if I can't remember the melody, I'm just going to improvise something. So let's hope this turns out well. Let's see. Okay, let me see if there are any people on Facebook. Friends on Facebook, please come over to, to the YouTube chat. Uh, we can have fun here. Uh, let me just jump over quickly and see. Facebook, Facebook. Where is it? Oh, wow. Seems that there's a lot of people there. Um, hey, guys. Nice to see you. Sorry, I, ha I can't see this chat. You know, I have to check on my phone. But, you know, please click on the link above. Please join us in the YouTube chat here. Uh, I can't see... Um, uh, this chat over here uh, but nice to see all of you guys and and please come over to my youtube chat okay uh, let me put this away yes yeah, songbird let me try it and hope you guys will enjoy it
got through it. That was Songbird by Kenny G. Actually, not as scary after once the song started, but it doesn't help that it's this backing track has like it's a bit jumpy at a few points. But hope you guys enjoyed that. My first ever time trying Songbird. Um, yeah, you know, really brought back memories. It's probably been like 20 years since I first heard that song in my dad's car with Kenny G CD. Um, yeah, I should I should definitely go and play that a few more times and and master it. But hope you guys enjoyed that that version. Yong Kang, thank you for coming back and 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 joining us. Yeah, with me on Soprano. Uh, Hans, thank you so much. I say love your love my rendition. Uh, amazes you how the level of control on the soprano. Thank you so much. It's not an easy animal to control, but yeah, once you get it down, it's it's really fun to play. And I'm actually glad I'm using my my armchair here because uh, my this saxophone does not have a neck strap, so I have to carry it up, and literally the whole weight is on my thumb. Not sure if you guys can not sure if you guys can see. I'm ca- literally almost all the weight is on my right thumb, which I've injured badly before. So it's it's really tiring, you know, on my right arm and my, my thumb to play the soprano. But I love the sound and I love to play Kenny G songs, you know, so I have to push through the pain. But hope you guys uh, enjoy the music and appreciate the music. Um, Hi, Gia. Nice to see you. Thank you so much all the way from the US. Yeah, I think my dad has been asking for Songbird for all these years and my first, I finally get to try it. Thank you so much. Uh, Gregory, thank you so much. This sick improvisation. I didn't really have a choice because <laughs> I don't know what happens during that section, so I have to just improvise. So thank you so much. And yeah, I'm feeling the Kenny G love. Let's keep going with some Kenny G tunes. Ah, so Yong Kang, you're asking how come this model doesn't have the neck strap ring? So this is one of the first Yanagisawa saxophones that were ever made in the 1970s. It's the Selma Mark VI design, so it's exactly the same design as what Kenny G would play. And I would think this actually sounds better than a lot of Mark VI's I've played. So Yanagisawa, a Japanese brand, as uh, so a Yanagisawa S6 vintage. Um, yeah, they were competing with the Selma Mark VI, so it, it feels almost the same. And it's really light, so that's the good thing. Because it's so light, they don't put a neck strap ring. Yeah, some Mark VI's don't have a strap hook as well. Yeah, even the older Buescher Sopranos that I've seen also don't have. So it's supposed to be light enough that you don't need a neck strap, but for me, it's really tough. You know, I've just put on this Ishimori thumb hook, which uh, helps a bit. But yeah, I love it. It's, it's way lighter than my Trevor James sax soprano that I was playing. Lovely sound as well, but that one's a bit heavier. So I've been playing this more. And yeah, uh, if you guys like this soprano setup, you know, I can let you guys know what mouthpiece and ligature and reeds I'm playing and all. But yeah, of course, you know, it's just a lot of time and effort trying to, yeah, just practice and copy my favorite soprano player. So glad you guys are liking it. And yeah, let me know if you have any other questions or song requests. Uh, let me do this other Kenny G song. It's not really by him, but uh, it's his version of My Heart Will Go On from the Titanic. So hope you guys will like it. Hey, Mike, nice to see you. Uh, Mike also has a Yanagisawa Soprano, which I used to own, sold it to him. Hope you are still enjoying it. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is an older Yanagisawa, so I think the sound is better. The keyword is a bit tricky, but yeah, I love the sound and it's light. Yeah, and Chris says Kenny G has great melody and love songs with good melody. Yes, that's the that's the thing why Kenny G has sold more than seventy five million albums because just plays the saxophone well. You know, it's good strong melodies, um, and he has all the technique in the world, but he doesn't need to use it on every song. You know, so Gia, thank you so much. Nice to see you here. And friends on Facebook, if you're watching, please join us. Click on the chat above. You don't need a uh, YouTube. Uh, account to watch but if you want to comment I think you gotta sign up for an account which is free anyway so I'm gonna do this uh, version of Kenny G's it's called My Heart Will Go On uh, made famous by Celine Dion from the Titanic it's quite an epic version I hope you guys will enjoy this one
that was a tune called My Heart Will Go On. Uh, Kenny G's version. Hope you guys enjoyed that tune. Epic, epic tune. And, excuse me, sorry. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, Hans, you're asking, yes, the specs. Yeah, exactly what I told you. So this is a Jody Jazz Hard Rubber Size 7. I'm using an Ishimori Solid Silver Ligature. And uh, Leisure, Leisure Signature 2.25, yeah. So I usually use Marka for cane reeds, but recently I've been using Leisure for all my reeds. They are really not easy to control uh, to get a good sound, especially on Soprano. For years, I've never been able to get a good sound out of them, but recently I've just been getting used to them because Leisure reeds tend to be a bit bright, but they're very easy to... Um, no maintenance needed so you really have to control it well but yeah that's my setup um mike yes awesome glad you're enjoying every day and playing your saxophone uh jeremy is asking what is my all-time favorite song wow it's it's really not possible you know i think for me because my life is full of so much music you know i'm either working on music or something related to music or performing like almost every minute of every day um, so just too much music and i really just like to play songs that i'm feeling you know in the moment so uh yeah it's a really hard question to answer pauline nice <laughs> nice emojis there i think that looks like um, water or the ocean I can't see from here but it looks something Titanic related um, <laughs> Hans is really funny yeah thank you so much guys um, uh, oh Hans thank you so much if you're literally karaoke to this track that really means a lot that you guys are singing along uh, thank you for the kind comments and hey Sien nice to see you Oh, um, wow, this song request, I haven't played this song in a very long time and uh, I'll Make Love To You by Boys To Men. Yes, uh, there's a very famous saxophone version. Uh, it's by Kirk Whalem, of course, one of my favorite saxophonists and he did a version of this and yeah, it's making me want to want to play that song. Let me try it for you guys. Let me see if I can find the track. Boys to Men, old school. Yeah, actually, my wife and I caught Boys to Men live in Las Vegas. It was quite epic. Let's see. Oh, yes, they have it. All right, I'm going to try this song. It's by Boys to Men. Hope you guys will enjoy this.
Alright, that was a tune called I'll Make Love to You by Boys to Men. Thank you for that request. And now it's making me feel like playing uh, a lot of these songs by Babyface. So Kurt Whalum did a Babyface songbook and a lot of the songs that I grew up, you know, listening on saxophone was from that album. So this was one of the songs that was in that album. So thank you for that request. And let me see if I can um play some other songs. I haven't... um tried these songs in a long time let me see if the Carafun app has it thank you so much for your kind comments hope you guys are enjoying it if you like this music you know please take this youtube link share it on your social media get more of your friends to see and hear it and hope they will be yeah lovers of saxophone music as well and if you guys like uh, this show, you know, do consider supporting us, you know, either through PayNow or PayPal, no matter where you are. The link is in the description of this vid video. And yeah, it will go a long way in supporting the show and helping us. To hopefully, eventually, we really want to uh, be able to pay the people that uh, we... Um, yeah, we, we invite on our shows to be able to pay them well and so that, you know, yeah, we make sure all the artists get... Um, um, you know, supported and remunerated well. So, and it'll go to upgrading our equipment as well. We need to be getting the camera soon. You know, we get to borrow, thanks to Blackmagic, the, the uh, pocket cinema camera. But yeah, it's going to cost us quite a lot when we need to buy it. So yeah, and if you'd like to contribute, please uh, use the PayNow code uh, below or PayPal and any amount goes a long way. Um, J Xiao, nice to see you. Yes, no more procrastinating. Time to get a saxophone, you know, and you're at the right place, you know, because I own a saxophone shop called Saxo. I can definitely hook you up. A lot of people have been um have been learning the saxophone and sales have been incredible. So hit me up. Uh, look for me on any social media pages. Contact me. I will definitely hook you up with a good package. And if you need lessons, you know, we can definitely hook you up for that as well. So let me see... I, I I like this song called Can We Talk? Let me see if I can find it up here. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Carafan has Can We Talk? All right. I'm going to do this tune called by Tevin Campbell. Uh, it's called Can We Talk? Hope you guys will enjoy this. I'm going to put this, the lyrics up for you guys as well so you can sing along if you want. Yeah, so upgrades like these, you know, really made possible by your support, financial contribution. So, yeah, so that we can go more high tech.
Alright. There was a tune called Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you haven't checked that out, uh, my wife, Miss Lou, has a version on her um, YouTube channel, a cover of this song, uh, acoustic cover with Kelvin Ang on guitar. Do check it out. And yeah, if you guys are watching on Facebook, please click the link above. I, I can't, you know, I have too many things to handle right here. I can't check the Facebook chat as well. So please join us with any song requests. Please click on the YouTube link above. Join us in the chat and put your requests here. I'm only looking at the uh, the YouTube chat. And yes, if you guys don't know yet, this coming Saturday, we are doing a crazy 12-hour YouTube live show, our own festival that we put together featuring some amazing artists amazing people that are going to come on and either play music together or share and have an interview with us. And this is this coming Saturday, Singapore time. So it's Friday, uh, US time. So please click on the link. Uh, let me share with you guys the link again. If you haven't, please... Uh, Click on the Remind On button. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it if your friend's going to be crazy. Yeah, Gia, thank you so much for saying you love that song. Yeah, do um, uh, join us on Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. Singapore time. My show, I'm going to have the amazing Grammy Award winning saxophonist, Eric Mariantho. He is incredible and such a humble and great guy. So Saturday night, 8 p.m. US time or 11 a.m. Singapore time. I'm going to have Eric Marienthal from Los Angeles to join me. Um, he is so amazing. So please, uh, let me send you guys the, the, the link again. Let me pull it up. Okay, so I'm going to send the link now for the 12-hour live stream for those who haven't clicked reminder on like the video. Please share it with as many people. It's going to be a crazy show. I'm going to add it to the chat right now. This is the link for this Saturday's 12-hour marathon music uh, festival. Click the reminder on so no matter what time zone you are in, you'll get a notification just before we start. That is that link. Please click it, share it. And I'm also going to share the link for the Eric Mariantho live stream. I'm so excited uh, for that. I'm going to share the link right now as well. Click on it. Click reminder on and you can put any questions or song requests you have for Eric Marantho there as well. I'm going to put it right there again. So two links. One is for Saturday Singapore time. One is for Sunday Singapore time. But click reminder on subscribe. Click on notifications and please share it with your friends. And Hans, how would the main hook line sound on the soprano? Keen, keen to hear that hook. Yeah, it's definitely it's just one octave apart but I can play that play that um play that a bit for you if you want to hear that. I think that song would sound nice on, on soprano as well. So yeah, that was the hook of Can We Talk. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys can hear there's a lot of reverb and delay. And it sounds funny when it's just I'm playing only the saxophone. But with the backing music, you don't hear that so much. And it just adds a nice flow to it. So if you want to know more about reverb, delay, uh, effects, saxophone effects, you can uh, text me as well. Jeremy, loving the sound of this saxophone. Thank you so much. That was the tenor saxophone. And Jay, oh, we spoke a year ago during Christmas sale. Oh, Nice. Um. Yeah. You know. Just hit me up. You know. I'm not sure you still have my contact, but um. Just uh, Let me know. Um. Gladly help you out with that. I think if I see your face, probably I remember better. Gregory asking about dance with my father, Luther Van Ross. I don't know that tune, but I can definitely do another Luther Van Ross tune for you. And yeah, Hans. Wow. Two weeks ago we started. I didn't know it was two weeks ago. So that's amazing. 
And yeah, so speaking about the links, do click on that. Tomorrow at 11 a.m., I'll be doing a smooth jazz session, 8 p.m. U.S. time, uh, Pacific time. So yeah, I mean, time really flies. It's been almost two hours. So that's amazing. I'm actually going on at 11 p.m. on uh, my friend Sin Fu or Pratas, Pratas uh, page, Facebook page. I'll share the link on my Facebook as well. So if you haven't followed me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, I'm at Daniel Chia Official. So yeah, I'll be talking about the show, more about the show and... We'll be talking, yeah, I'm not sure where it will go, but yeah, that'll be fun. So 11 p.m. I have to be there. So I'll probably, I'll probably just play a few more songs and probably end by like 10.30, 10.40 p.m. So still a good two and a half hours. So still, still so many songs to play for you guys. I can do a Luther Van Ross tune. Uh, let me see, but I really like that baby face, these baby face songs. Let me search and see whether I have any more. All right, since someone asked for who was it who asked for Luther Van Ross Gregory, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think it was Gregory. Yeah, you asked for Luther Van Ross tune. I'm gonna do this really, really nice Luther Van Ross tune. Uh, it's called So Amazing. Can't remember if I've did it on the show before. Do let me know if I've done it on the show before, but let me let me pull it out. Yeah, so this is Jared Albright's cover of So Amazing, the backing track. So yeah, I'm going to share this song with you guys. I love this song. Uh, and Luther Van Ross is amazing. If you haven't heard him, please go and check him out. And hope you guys enjoy this tune called So Amazing. Thank you. 
Right, that was a tune called So Amazing. Uh, that was Jared Albright's version, but this song is originally sung by Luther Van Ross. He is so, so, so amazing. I'm going to send a link as well. You know, I, I really want to share good music that I love with you guys. So I'm going to share you the original link. You guys can save it as well. Okay, this link that I'm sending right now, that's Luther Van Rossa, so amazing. And thank you so much for the kind comments, Hilda. Yes, we can't wait for Saturday. I really, really think it's going to be one of the best shows. 12 hours, you know, a wide uh, ranging uh, list of artists. And yeah, man, it's it's just going to be so fun. And then Sunday, 11 a.m., going to have the amazing Grammy Award winning saxophonist Eric Marantho on the show. That's going to be so uh, so great as well. So Gregory, you're very welcome. Uh, this Luther Van Ross tune, one of my favorites of all time. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any other song requests that you would like before we end the night today. Let me scroll through and see what other songs I can do for you guys. Hmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this tune by Bruno Mars. Going out to Leonard, I'm not sure if you're still here. Um, this one is called When I Was Your Man. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy this version.
nice emo song by Bruno Mars called When I Was Your Man. Suddenly felt feel like doing this other song. Alright, so yeah, I suddenly thought of doing this song called Because You Love Me by Celine Dion. Uh, uh, I've just suddenly forgot who it's written by, but yeah, the songwriter wrote it about her dad, you know, so if you're a family member who's been supporting you all this while, um, hope you guys will, will enjoy this song. And Perlene, thank you so much. Glad you like this song. And, and Hans, who's cutting onions at this hour? <laughs> Really funny. Leonard, thank you so much. Nice to still see you in the chat. So let me know if you have final requests. If not, I'll just go ahead and do songs that I like. Let me see what key I can do. Alright, so let me play this tune called Because You Love Me. Hope you guys enjoy this.
Right, that was a tune called Because You Loved Me. Hope you guys enjoyed that tune. Haven't played that in a very, very long time. And yeah, I just felt like doing that. Yes, classic Celine Dion. Um, uh, I don't know a tune called The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. Sorry about that. I'll probably do one or two more songs. Let me know quickly if you guys have any song requests. Uh, thank you, Mr. Heng. Thanks to my dad. And yeah, those on Facebook, do join us. Last chance to join us over here and let me know if you have any song. So anyone, any song request? Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, so I'll be going on at 11 p.m. Do check out my Facebook. Uh, I'll share the link to, to a Facebook live stream chat that I'll be having. Um talking about uh, this weekend's shows. Ah, KJ, Memories by Maroon 5. Yes, no problem. Uh, I, I like that song and I actually have a cover of that on my YouTube channel. So do look for that. If you guys are new, haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you guys want to contribute and support this show, you know, you can uh, send by PayNow, either direct to me or through the UEN down below and even PayPal if you're not from Singapore. Oh, I Choose You by Sarah Bareilles. That's uh, one of my wife's favorite songs. Sorry, I haven't tried and learned it before. Um, so, but I'll get her. Come back tomorrow, 8 p.m. It will be Miss Lu's show. I'm sure she'll be very happy to do it for you. Yeah, my dad is asking for Close to You. I can definitely do Close to You. Oh, there's Close to You, Don't Know Why, and Memories. Wow. Okay, how about that? I'll do half song of each of those, okay? Because I need to jump over to the next live stream very soon. So let me start from memories. So I'm going to stop there. Half a song of memories going out to KJ. Hope you enjoyed it. And the next song I think is Don't Know Why. So sorry because it's getting late and I have to go. I don't want to be playing my saxophone too late. But I also have the next live stream which is just chatting uh, with my friend Sin Fu uh, Pratas. So you can look for my social media and I'll be sharing that link. We have a live stream at, at 11pm. So this is Don't Know Why by Nora Jones. Thank you. 
Thank you for that request. That was Don't Know Why by Nora Jones. I'm going to jump quickly to Close to You for My Dad. By this is by The Carpenters. Let's see if I have other versions that I can do. Oh, there's a Harry, Harry Connick Jr. version. Let's see how that might sound like. Okay, so thank you so much, all of you. Um for uh, joining me on this chat today. I'm so glad I finally get to play the saxophone again after a busy week. But see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm going to have my smooth jazz show. Same channel, same place. Um, even if you guys are working or studying or anything, just put the music on and hope you'll have fun and you can request. And yeah, so that's 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, 8 p.m. will be Miss Lou's live show. Saturday, Singapore time will be on 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. A full music festival for you guys. And on Sunday, 11 a.m. Singapore time will be my live show with Eric Marienthal. So that's going to be amazing. And thank you so much, guys. And I'm going to do one final song called Close to You. Hope you guys enjoy it.
All right, that was close to you. Thank you so much. That was the oh my dad says thank you. I'll always be close to you. Thank you so much for always watching and being a strong supporter. And yeah, and thank you so much for spending your Thursday night with me. If you guys want to come on the live stream and check it out, I'll post it on Facebook on my page at eleven p.m. I'm going on a live stream to chat about this uh, weekend shows. And yeah, thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m., hopefully, for some smooth jazz. So thank you and goodbye.